Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about plastic tool in Open Tunes. We can use the plastic tool also for animation. So I have this drawing which I created earlier. I will use the plastic tool on it. This is the icon for plastic tool. Keyboard shortcut X. We click on it. And on the top we have the create mesh option. We click it and we get this window. It just scans the drawing and creates a mesh of it. So we don't need to make any changes over there on the top. Okay. And let's click on apply. And if you get this window, just choose the option delete the old level entirely. Now this has created a mesh of the drawing and it is available on the X sheet in a separate column. If I hide the drawing, I, I can see the mesh. And if I hide the mesh, I can see the drawing. So now I have to select the mesh. And on the top, we have these separate options edit mesh, paint rigid, build skeleton, and animate. So to animate, we have to first build a skeleton on the mesh. So we will use vertices. Okay, the first one is the root, it is the base. So during animation, it doesn't move. And the other vertices follow a parent and child relationship. This is the second one, the second vertex. And make sure that when we do this, we select the previous one, like I want to select second and then go over to five, like this. Otherwise, during animation, we, we can have issues. So I'm just marking the vertices for so that I can use them properly during animation. So once this is complete, we go to the top and choose the animate option and now I can do my animation let me just move it till 28 move the mesh and then move the drawing also frame 28 now I can start Let's go to frame 5 and uh, move the thumb like this and go to 10 then do this and uh, 16 This is just a basic animation. Now you can see that the thumb is moving and this part is also moving. So if, if I want that only the thumb moves and the other part doesn't move in the drawing, I can use the paint rigid option. With it, I can just Paint that part of the drawing which I don't want to move during animation. So I'll just do this. It has, I'm painting it over here. Now, if I go back to animate, now the movement is a little restricted. Let's go to 22. Like this, we can do it. Now I can just start this animation and let's see how it works. Let me just change the frames to 12, the FPS, and then start it again. OK, 
Okay, so let me show you a different example now. So I have this image which I imported earlier. Okay, so I'll use the paint tool on this image now. The process is the same. I select the image and I click on create mesh. So it scans the image. Now this is a raster image. So we the DPI is fixed. We can't change that. Previously that was the drawing was, was something which I had drawn myself, a, ve a vector drawing. So I had the option to change the DPI. Okay. I'll just click on apply. And it will create a separate level, a mesh for the flower. I'll select that. Go to build skeleton and this time I'll put the root outside over here and then start with the vertices like this. We have to do, follow the same parent child relationship over here also. Depending upon how much you want the animation, you have to use the vertices according to that. Now I'll go and just extend the mesh. Till, let's do it till frame 22 and then extend the drawing also, frame 22. And then we go to animate. You can see that it's doing the same thing. So in case we want to just have a smooth animation, we can just use the paint rigid depending upon what part of the we don't want to move. So I just don't want this part to move. So let's let me go back. See this. So this is a simple animation with the image which I this is a royalty free image. And this. Now I can run this power animation. So this is the benefit of plastic tool. We can use it on vector or raster drawings, or we can import an image from outside and use it on that image.